Hey YouTube, it's the Crazy Dad here with Ella, of course. Say hi. Hi! Okay. So this is a response video to the Canadian Stud Muffins Bad Customer Service video. Let me move the mouse because it looks like it's picking my nose. There. Put that tongue away. Um, so I've worked in customer service for many, many years, and but well, over 10 years. And I've been, obviously, the customer, and I've also been the person serving the customer. Um, and that whole line about the customer is always right, that is true to a degree, okay? Because, you know, you're the one going in there to buy stuff, and they should... Uh, they should treat you with uh, courtesy. Um, just hence why I'm called the crazy dad. Um, oh, one thing, one note that you mentioned about Best Buy being a competitor. They're not. They're actually owned by the same company. Um, and the kicker with that is that let's say you go to a future shop with an advertisement from Best Buy, they won't match it because it's the same company. I tried that with a Logitech wireless keyboard that Best Buy had on sale for 79 no, 59 And it was like 100 and something at uh, Feature Shop, and I said, well, you match this. No, it's the same company. I said, it doesn't really matter. It's the same product. Anyways, um, trying to think of a, a case where we had really bad customer service. Oh, I know. I just thought of this. So, the other day, I'm with the kids, both of them. Ella, stop. Both of them at Walmart here in Surrey. And it's, it's, uh, they've got underground parking. So you have to wait, you wait out there for your cab and stuff. And so I'm waiting. And I've got the double stroller and I've got all of the shopping cart stuff. And, uh, guy shows up in a hybrid car. And he looks at the stroller and he tries to put it in. And, oh, it's not going to fit. I'm like, Okay. He's like, I'll have to call you a van. I said, okay, well, there's no extra charge for that, is there? No, he said. I'm like, okay. So buddy shows up with the van, starts loading everything in and stuff, and we get to my place, and the, it's $6.50, plus a $15 surcharge for the stroller. And I said, you never told me that there was a $15 surcharge because of the stroller. Oh, yes, I did, sir. I Those are the words I said. I'm like, no, you didn't. I said, why are you, it's a freaking stroller. It's not like I've got like a big screen TV in the back there. I said, I'm not paying it. I'm not paying you $15 surcharge just because you put a double stroller in the back of your van. And I was told by the other guy that there wouldn't be a charge for a van. He's like, well, then I'm not going to let you unload my stuff. So now I could have called the cops, but really, you know, what, what's the point of, of that? It's not like I was really being held captive per se. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> and, uh, so, anyways, I, you know, I could have lost on the guy, but I had the kids with me, so I kept my temper in check. And, and I'm like you, Larry. I, it takes a lot to piss me off. I, I get irritated quite easily. Um, especially with working in security, you know, you, uh, you get to learn how to keep your patience. Um, so I ended up paying. It ended up being $22 and some change. And so I, right away I phoned the cab company and explained the situation. And they said, oh, we'll get somebody to get back to you. They never did. So I phoned them again. And, oh, yeah, we'll get somebody to call you back. No problem. Okay. I'm still waiting. You know. I just... It's... Don't show everybody your belly button. And, uh... Take call, yeah. Um, it's just... It's kind of like customer service over the years has just kind of gone down the tube. You know, it's like, I'll give you a classic example. I used to work at Walmart in Langley here. Yes, love. And uh, their whole thing was, oh, thank you. Uh, within three meters, you go and say hi to the person, you know, walk, you know, can I help you kind of thing. Nobody does that. If anything, you're here, they see you, and they go down the other aisle around because they don't want to have to deal with you, you know. And I get that, you know, 95% of the people there are part-time and they're only making, you know, what is it, 9.25 now? 
something like that. I mean, it'll be 10 25 soon, but, you know, they're making crap wages. You know, with no benefits, I should add. So, you know, I understand that they're not really going to give a shit. But, at the same time, though, at least give me a half-assed attempt at caring about your job, you know, and and take me to the product. If I say, where's such and such, don't be like, oh, it's down, down there in aisle five. Well, okay, fair enough, but take me there. You know, you can go to stores like uh, Home Depot or Canadian Tire, and they'll actually take you to the product, and they'll explain it, and they'll give you other options, um, things like that. You know, and it's like, <coughs> excuse me, that that to me is good. That to me is good customer service. You know, same goes for like. Uh, you know, pizza places, when you call up a pizza place to order something, you know, depending on who you're ordering from, some are going to listen to what you're ordering from. Um, I, it's like that for us when we go to McDonald's, uh, not that we go there all the time, but, you know, once in a while. Um, you'll tell them, okay, I want a supersized fries, a large coffee, because I like my coffee. And actually, the McDonald's coffee's gotten a lot better. It's not that, not the stuff from the 80s, where it was just in a styrofoam cup and it was crap. Um... They've actually really, really developed the taste. Anyways, um, they don't listen. You know, I've, I've lost count of how many times that, you know, I've had to go back up because they've not got the order right because they just weren't listening. And it's it's ridiculous. Like, if I'm standing in front of you and I'm saying, okay, Larry, sorry, I'm going to use you as an example, Larry. Okay, Larry, I'd like a large double-double and a large turkey sandwich. You know, it's not like we're speaking Klingon. You know, it's perfectly legit English, um, and it's just like I don't, I don't understand it. You want to go me? Um, sorry, sorry for the mess. We're in the middle of packing and stuff. Um, I just, I don't understand. I don't understand why people on on either side. It's like you know, flip it around. If you're the one going in to see them. Or sorry, they're the ones going in to see you, rather. Sorry, and you treated them that way. You know that they're going to be all up in your face, bitching and moaning and complaining that you know you treated them like crap and stuff. So it's it's a two-way street. You know, it's sort of like that when you call into a call center. Which that's another rant that I'll do for you, Larry. That you should look into is the lovely automated systems that uh, call centers use. You know, I just want a live person. I don't want to. Mmm, ribs tonight. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. See, she likes that. Ribs and scalloped potatoes. Yum, yum. I'll FedEx you some, Larry. Yeah. Should we send Larry some? No. <laughs> Sorry, Larry. Oh, maybe next time. Um. Yeah. I just want a live person. I don't want... Okay, sit. Okay. I just want a live person. I don't want, um, you know, all this. Auto sometimes I want the automated messages, but sometimes I don't. I just want a live person. But what I love is when you're like, please give me your phone number. So you enter your phone number. Then you get to the live person. Can I get your account number or your phone number? Well, what the hell is the point of me putting my number in the first place if it's not going to be transmitted to the person that I'm going to talk to live with after that? Anyways, I'm getting off topic here. Um... I just think that people should put a bit more of an effort into, you know, uh, treating the customer right. My, my wife could vouch for this because she's a manager at a salon, and, uh, hon, would you say that the customer is always right? Go ahead and call and ask for results. As stupid as what they think is right is. Stop. Yeah, no, I know. Even though you know it's not right, you have to... Yeah. Anyway, so Larry, that's my video response. Hope you like it. And uh, yeah, I definitely think you should do one on uh, having to deal with call centers. So, all right, we'll talk to you soon. See you later.